Bud's Aircraft, or BRP Utility and Diagnostic Software, is available for all i-Series aircraft engines. In this video, I'll install the required software, configure the hardware, and discuss some basic functions of Bud's Aircraft software. Here's what you'll need to connect to the ECU or engine control unit. A PC or laptop running Windows 7 or newer with an available USB port. A copy of the latest version of Bud's aircraft software. A Rotax USB to CAN bus connector set. And depending upon your aircraft's maintenance port configuration, a DB9 splitter may be required. Bud's connector sets are available in three different levels. Level 1, Aircraft Viewer, is designed to be used by pilots or operators. Level 2, Aircraft Service, is designed for service personnel. And Level 3, Aircraft Maintenance, is designed for aircraft OEMs and service centers. Each level allows access to different features of the ECU. For instance, Level 1 will allow you to download error logs while Level 3 is required to flash the ECU with a firmware update. Contact your local distributor or service center for assistance in ordering an appropriate level service set. The BUDS Aircraft Software Package is available for free download at flyrotax.com. Click on Services, then on Technical Documentation. In the Document Type pull-down box, Select Software, then click on Search Database. When the search has completed, click on the BUDS Aircraft download link. Check your default download location. This is usually the Downloads folder. The software can be saved to a USB memory stick or thumb drive by right-clicking on the download link and choosing Save Link As. Don't plug in the BUDS connector set yet. It won't be recognized by Windows at this point. The drivers required are installed during the BUD software installation. Double click on the downloaded .exe file in your downloads folder or on your USB thumb drive. Depending on your Windows security settings, a user account control window may now appear, asking if you wish to allow this installation program to make changes. Click Yes. Read the license agreement, click I accept, and Next. You can change the installation folder and start menu locations, but it's recommended to use the default locations. Click Next. An overview of the installation options will now be shown. Click Install. Drivers to recognize the USB connection set are now installed. Click on Install in this window to allow. Once complete, Click on Finish to exit the installation program. You'll now have a BUDS aircraft shortcut on your desktop. Before running the software, plug the BUDS connector set into a USB port. The red indicator LED will light up to show a proper connection. Double-click on the BUDS icon on your desktop or from its Start menu location. The first time you use BUDS, it will request the connector set serial number and activation key. The serial number is located on the connector set label, and the corresponding activation key can be found on a label provided in the shipping box. Be sure to keep this number safe. You'll need it to reinstall the software or to use the connector set on another computer. Enter the activation code with or without dashes. Leave the XML config directory as default and click on OK. Now we're into the BUDS software. You can maximize the BUDS window by clicking on the box at the top right. At the top left, we see connection state, engine type, and ECU software version. These are blank right now because I'm not yet physically connected to an ECU. Plug the connector set's DB9 connection to the aircraft's maintenance CAN port. Aircraft may have either a single DB9 or two DB9 female maintenance ports that should be easily accessible.
plug the connector set directly into a single maintenance port. If the aircraft's equipped with two maintenance ports, a female DB9 to two male DB9 splitter or adapter is required. This adapter may be available from your local distributor or service center, or they are available online from many sources. For demonstration purposes, I'll connect to this ECU out of an aircraft by using a Rotax service wiring assembly. This service harness is specifically designed for service centers and OEMs to connect to an ECU and flash the software, for example, without the need for the engine or aircraft itself. Be aware that the number of allowed insertions of an ECU harness connector is limited and needs to be documented. See the heavy maintenance manual for more information. While connected to the maintenance port, turn the aircraft power on and activate both lane A and lane B. Be sure to prevent against unintentional engine start. When a successful connection is made, the red LED on the connector set will turn from continuously on to a fast blink. And looking back up to the top left of the BUD software window, we now see a change in connection state. Lane A and Lane B are now connected. The engine type in this case is a 912 IS Sport, and it's displaying the current firmware version that this ECU has been programmed with. Next, we'll take a quick look at what the BUD software is capable of. I'm connected to this 912 IS Sport ECU using a BUDS connector set, in this case level 1. In the main BUDS aircraft window, several tabs are now available. The main gauges tab shows a live readout of all engine parameters that are being monitored by the ECU. This will give you a live readout on a running engine, but it's not designed to be used in place of your aircraft's EMU or engine monitoring unit. The Health tab lists sensor and device status. A sensor error will be highlighted in red. Sensors are showing up as error in this case because there's no connection to the engine's harness and sensors. The Logs tab allows the extraction of fault logs for troubleshooting. Click on Extract Logs. BUDS aircraft needs to enter maintenance mode, switch the ECU off, and when prompted, switch the ECU on again. The default location for saving log files can be changed. In this case, I'll choose Desktop and click OK. Log extraction will take a few minutes. The extracted logs will be saved as a zip file, and the contents can be loaded into Microsoft Excel or Rotax Buds Viewer for graphing and analysis. The ECU Configuration tab allows for the flashing of ECU firmware as newer versions are released. Click on Software Update. Allow BUDS to enter maintenance mode by powering the ECU off and back on. Locate the software package file and click Load. Instructions for downloading logs and flashing ECU firmware can be found in the respective Heavy Maintenance Manual. Installation instructions for BUDS aircraft software can be found in the latest revision of service instruction SI-912-I-002-915-I-002. Using BUDS aircraft to download engine logs is a helpful troubleshooting tool. It's also required to update or flash the ECU firmware as newer versions are released. If you have any questions with the installation or connection that are not answered in this video or the service instruction, contact your local authorized distributor or their service centers for more help. Thanks for watching. You can find more tooltip and tech tip videos on the official Rotax Aircraft Engines YouTube channel, Fly Rotax.